For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Part two, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Part two log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. is harsh and they are often cruel to each other. Our mission is to help them improve the quality of their lives in any way we can. Get a lot of rocks. Picking should be good today. Very good. Make contact with Ruth. Let her know we've secured for the day and give her our position. You got it, Chief. I hope she's on water. This is home base calling the Roamer. Come in, Roamer. Over. Scavengers, stand by to secure the ark. Contact Ruth and tell her to keep a sharp eye out. There may be more scavengers in her area. Right. Home base calling the Ark Warmer. Come in, Ark Warmer. Hi, Sam. Hi. Where are you, Sunshine Lady? We're in Sector 3, grids F and 14, smack in the middle of nowhere. So far, all we've seen is miles and miles of miles and miles, but no water. Well, your situation could change. We just were attacked by scavengers. So keep your eyes peeled, huh? Roger. Ruth, look. Hang on a minute. Adam spotted something. Uh -oh. What is it, scavengers? No, it looks like some type of wildlife. We're going to track it. Maybe it'll lead us to water. And don't worry, we'll watch out for scavengers. Ark Roamer, over and out. Hang on, Adam. Home base calling Ark Romer. Come in. Come in, Ark Romer. Ruth, can you hear me? Ruth! I was just talking to her a second ago. Where was she? Sector 3, grids F and 14. Tighten your safety belt. We're gonna move. Home base calling Ark Romer. Come in. Ruth, come in. Oh. Gotta get help.
Council has studied your record. You're not doing enough work in the fields. Therefore, the Council has agreed you're to be cast out of the village and sent into the wilds. Painful though it is, it's necessary for the common good of the village. This is the rule. And the rule. According to the map, this is the spot where she last made contact with us. We'll never get the Ark through that country. Secure the Ark, Samuel. We'll take it on foot. Who is she, my son? I don't know. I just found her. She was hurt. And you brought her here? You should know better than that. Father, she needs to be cared for. I just cast two more people out of our village for being unable to do their share. And now you bring a stranger who will take the very food out of the mouths of the people who work hard for I'll it? I'll take care of her. I'll share with her. You'll take care of her? When you're not out working, you're fooling around with that contraption of yours trying to fly like a bird. Man flew before. Man did many things before. And look where we are. See all the things we've inherited from mankind's accomplishments. Tomorrow, you'll take her back where you found her. That is the rule. I wonder what they could be. I don't know. We could sure find them a lot easier if we could get the Roma running again. Without the right tools, we'll be lucky to fix this thing. Who are you? I'm called Jeff. And you? My name's Ruth. I'm from Arc 2. Arc 2? Oh, yeah, we've heard of you and your machine. Where's Adam? Adam? My friend. He's a chimpanzee. He was with me when. You were alone when I found you. Then he must have gone for help. But I've got to find him. Oh. Look, we'll look for your friend later. Okay, first you'd better rest. Well? Can't give you a 20,000 mile guarantee, but give it a try. Samuel, you're a genius. Yeah, I know. Fool, that fool. Why do you call him a fool? Because I'm his father, and I know. Just look at him. He's trying to fly like a bird. All I see is he has vision and imagination. Imagination? Do you call that imagination? Well, I prefer to be dull with it. leg. We need to make a stretcher. His leg is broken. All right, get uh, two long poles and some heavy cloth. Go on. Now! Look! 
scavengers. They've stolen our food, our stock, everything. Hey, John, look. The door's open. I don't get it. We secured the lock. Can't be scavengers. Well, yes, it is. But one of ours. Adam, are we happy to see you? Where's Ruth? She hurt. I come for help. Close the door and secure the ark. Will he be able to work? In time. His left leg is broken. Then he must be cast out. Cast out? That's the rule. You mean you throw people out because they're disabled or sick? Like the old, they're useless. When they can't contribute, they must be cast out. You're talking about human beings. People, not trash. Everyone has something to contribute to life. It's the only way we can survive. But your son, he'll be well again. The rule must be obeyed. Well, we'll go back where we lost her and Adam can try and pick up her trail. I hope so. Don't worry, we'll find her. It's time for you and the others to leave, my son. Yes, Father. I'll go with him. He'll need someone to look after him. It's your life. Do as you wish. Did you hear that? No, what was it? It was supposed to sound like a bird, it was a man. I may be old and blind, but I know a signal call when I hear one. We are being watched. Jim, it's all yours. Hold it. Someone's coming. Ruth. Samuel. <laughs> Jonah. Oh. Oh, and Adam. I was so worried about you. About all of you. How do you like that? She was worried about us. I think he's trying to say he missed you. These poor people have been abandoned by their village because they can't do the work expected of them. It's our law. That's the law of the jungle, not the law for people. Right. Well, what can we do to help? They stole it from us. Maybe we could steal it back. OK, but how? Lead the scavengers away from their wagons. We lead them away, and then... Right. And then you take everything back to your village. It could work. Well, if we're going to do it, we'd better do it right away. I can't see, but my ears tell me these scavengers are watching us right now. But the question is, how do we decoy them? I don't know, but I'm sure we can figure out something. All we need is some bait. Now, man, now, it'll be simple. It's just the old, the sick people as we saw before. And that little machine which we'd love to have. We can get it all, everything. Everyone ready for the attack? Come on!
tricked us. They got away. Oh, boys, we gotta get back to camp fast. Blast those miserable outsiders. They've taken the wagon, everything. They made fools of us. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't look me like that. What was I supposed to do? Now, you saw what they had. How could I stop them? You stay away from me. Come on. Oh, no, no. According to the rule, you're never to return. Now, how did you meet these people? What happened here? Father, all of you, listen. The old, the blind, and the lame have brought back your stores, and food will be at your winter campfire. Oh. Yeah. 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 Food. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How did you do this? We devised a plan. We set decoys and tricked the scavengers. That's right. We used our brains. And our bodies. We are not useless. They're trying to tell you the rule is wrong. How do you feel now about the rule? Now that you see what outcasts can do. Listen. Listen to me, everyone. Please, be quiet. You have proven that no one is useless. And if anything, you've shown us that we have useful, productive lives ahead, all of us. And therefore, therefore, I ask the council to abolish the rule from this day forward. Hey, look. Oh, oh, please. Please, you, you've got to hey. help me because they're after oh. me now. They, oh. they have turned on me and they're after me. Get please. Out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Leave. Please. Should we help him? No. no. Why should we help him? Why should we help him? Or, or should we cast him out? Cast him out. The way we did my son? And the blind? Are you willing to work with us? I'll do anything if you just help me. Please. Please. Even one such as you deserves a second chance. If you're willing to work, I will work. Hard. And you may stay. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. We'll never forget you or what you've done for us. That's what we're trying to do, Jeff help others. Goodbye, sir, and good luck. Oh, wait. We must touch to say goodbye. That's the rule. That's a good rule. Goodbye. Bye. I love it. Why, you blockheaded baboon, you're supposed to cook it. <laughs> Arc 2 log, entry 1442. We all learned an important rule today. Each of us, old and young alike, has a skill. 
everyone can contribute to society in his own way. It is a rule we should all remember. Forget it, and man takes a giant step backwards.